How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom, Monday, April 6th. John Bon Jovi, Abbott and Costello, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Phil Rizzuto, Paul Robeson. All these people are on the list of inductees into the New Jersey Hall of Fame on May 3rd. Now, you can buy your tickets to the induction now, but you can't actually visit the Hall of Fame itself. See, there is no actual Hall of Fame. There's no building. Our headline guru, Joel Pozetzner, has a few things to say about that today. The folks behind the New Jersey Hall of Fame have spoken, and this virtual museum is opening up its imaginary gates to the likes of Paul Robeson, Phil Rizzuto, Althea Gibson, and the rest of the vaunted class of 2009. Bully for them all, I say, and maybe someday there will be real plaques and real displays for people to visit instead of just imagine. Yes, Luke Until that day, I've got a question to ask. Are Hall of Fames really necessary? For instance, did you know in Florida there's an astronaut Hall of Fame? Now, my question is, what do you have to do as an astronaut not to make the Hall of Fame? Start out from Mars, take a bad turn somewhere, and wind up on Venus? If there is life on Venus, it is probably of a type that we cannot now imagine. There was a movie, now that I think about it, in 1953, called Abbott and Costello Go to Mars. And that's exactly what happens. Abbott and Costello wind up on Venus. Sure enough, they are not in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. Professor of Aeronautical Science. What makes a balloon go up? Hot air? What's keeping you down? But these two Jersey guys were the most popular comedy duo in America in the mid-1940s, and they are in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. On the other hand, you've got Wally Schirra. Here's a guy who spent 295 hours in space. That's almost two weeks. And this was in the time before there was a space station where you could get to hang around. For this achievement, Wally Schirra is in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. But he is not in the New Jersey Hall of Fame, even though he was raised and grew up in Bergen County. Go figure. He didn't make the cut this year. Neither did Woodrow Wilson, Grover Cleveland, Molly Pitcher. I don't know why. So, let me suggest that one does not need a Hall of Fame to be certifiably famous. Grover Cleveland, Woodrow Wilson, and Molly Pitcher all have rest stops named after them on the New Jersey Turnpike. Isn't that fame enough? It would be for me. I'm gonna live it says you've got to live in New Jersey for five years to qualify for the Hall of Fame, but they will make exceptions. F. Scott Fitzgerald is one of the new members, and I don't think he made five years in New Jersey a year of prep school, and then he went to Princeton, where he worked on his writing and his drinking, but then he dropped out. Well, if there are going to be exceptions like that, I say throw all the rules out of the book and go with what seems right. I spent more than half my life in New Jersey, and I was born in New York City, but I'm equally proud of the fact that I was conceived in Virginia. So I want to go on record right now saying I'm willing to make the drive, put up my own hotel room, and deliver a gracious speech the day that they honor me with being one of the great embryos of journalism.